the virus going around and all the lockdown deliveries are taking longer than normal and we went for a couple of screws and paint basically for the car but what I might do is I might go through some of the other projects including one that I started in January that's very nearly finished now I've just been waiting for some ACO rings to turn up um, for that so that that can get finished and sold on but COVID-19 struck and added basically another month onto the, the, the build so far um, then we're going to move on and um, potentially look at well, other projects that I'm, that I'm doing as well because I'm not just doing the, the crash rebuilds I'm doing various cars and I have been for years um, okay thank you I'll get on with it then. this is always a common problem on rebuild cars bolts like that one there for the wing that you can't really get to um, to get it out you simply screwdriver there tap it on the end a few times straighten it up and then it should come out um, unfortunately it takes two hands and I've not got no hands free to film it so I'll just tap it a few times and come back to you a few simple taps later and it's bent so you can gain access to it with your tools you can just undo it and then take the, the wing off You've got obviously one, two, three, three, four bolts there. I'm not sure if you'll see it on camera. If you look just down there, you can see the final bolt to get it on, which is covered by the glass. Um, because you've also got two. And another two down here that all hold the wing on. And that one down the glass is a real pain to get to. But we'll do it. And now we'll get the other wing test fitted up and lined up and see where we are from now. So I hope you enjoyed all that. I've still got to do all the panel gaps and make sure everything lines up. There's a couple of brackets that are a little bit bent, but they're, they're, they're nothing to to straighten out. The bonnet shuts, the shut lines are not brilliant. It's touching the wing at the moment. Um, but again, all of this needs to be adjusted um, and finally fitted once the bumper's fitted. And it's been painted, but I'll get it all adjusted off camera because that's going to take 30, 40 minutes of just fiddling around and um, getting it sorted. But I've got a couple of questions of does the engine actually run on it and so I thought I would have a look and show you guys basically so now obviously the, the, the car's ready to start and I hope there's no power left in the battery um, if I turn, turn the key it should hopefully start See there, it's all running fine as it should do. Uh, I'm just gonna bleed the coolant basically, uh, not a big job, just keeps watching it until the fan comes on. As you can probably hear the engine's running quite sweetly and nicely. Uh, we'll obviously get a full save before I pass it on, but the engine is a runner. So we should crack on and get this coolant right. Well that was it for today, I was just editing the video when I realised I'd added a bit on after ending the video earlier. I'm currently waiting a couple of nuts, bolts and little bits to get the front end completely finished, ready for paint. I'm going to be trying to paint this um, front end of the car for the channel myself. I've never sprayed with a spray gun before and had very dodgy results with spray cans. Um, 
But I'll be going and practicing a couple of other panels I've got for some of my other projects first. There may be a little delay over the next couple of weeks while I get this done and, and ready. So what I'm going to be doing to keep the videos coming for you is create project videos for each of the other project cars I've got. Uh, what they need doing to them, what I've done to them already, etc. And as I get around to these cars, um, I will make videos on them as well. Um, I just like to say I do work full time for my own business. And so I do get very limited time to work on these projects and this YouTube channel and um, the other cars are purely a hobby for me and they're not really to make um, my main living. Um, I'm not connected to any of the trade and I do pay for everything you see. Um, I was about to start finishing the other projects that you can see the videos on because um, there there is currently six or seven of them. Um, but this came up at a price and it was simply so cheap I couldn't refuse it. Um, my plans for this car at the moment are to flip it, but that might change if my wife likes it and wants to keep it, in which case we'll sell her car instead to try and cover some of the costs. Now, I'm trying to look into how I can improve both the video, the audio, um, and everything to do with the what, what you see the channel, really. Um, I can't really do a lot of talking as I walk around the car because it's inaudible with the wind noise from, from where I am. We're in a bit of a wind trap. Um, but I am working on, on, on getting that sorted. Um, the last thing I'd like to say is I'd like to thank everyone that subscribed. There's currently 21 people um, and nearly 400 people, have, or nearly 400 views to the, to the channel. And I'm, I'm absolutely overwhelmed and amazed that the people want to watch this. Um, some people ask what my plans are. I've got no plans to become a, a major YouTuber who does really, really expensive builds. Um, the billion, millions and billions of subscribers and sponsored by various companies. Um, I'm just happy a few people um, want to watch my videos and, and, and do that. This is purely, purely for fun for me, really. Um, I will be reinvesting any money made on this car in the next car that I do, which I'm sure I'll... I'll do as I'm always looking at Copart. Um, I just want everyone to stay safe. Thank you. Um, so please like, share and subscribe and do all of that. That'd be great. Thank you.